And it seems to me reaching the Phi number opens all these other doors. And I, I want to ask you, Fritz, what is your relationship to work? I mean, you started, you, you spent a long time in a career and it seems to me that you had a, a vision at a certain point, and I want to figure out when that was, that you wanted to retire early. You didn't want to keep working. So what was that about? And, you know, how, if it was about like not wanting to work anymore, because I've heard you kind of say that, you know, you get to the end, you see the light at the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, and you're like, ah, I want to get there faster. Or, you know, yeah, like, I'm kind absolutely. of done with work. Um, you know, how is your relationship to maybe hobbies or things you're doing for fulfillment and purpose? Like, is that work to you or no? Yeah. Yeah. Um, great question. And, and, you know, when you were talking earlier about, um, getting excited about being done with it, I, I was absolutely there the last two years. I was just <laughs> yeah. like, man, get me out of here, right. get me out of here. But the funny thing was, you know, for probably 30 years of my career, I worked for 33 years. I had great jobs. I loved it. I really enjoyed my work. You know, we always, um, we always sought balance and I, and I encourage people and you, you made this comment last week and I applaud it because you're recognizing it. Don't live your whole life in such hot pursuit of fire that you right. lose track of enjoying the moment. You got kids yeah. for not much longer at home, yeah. savor that time. Right. <laughs> so you recognize it. That's great. So we were very intentional. I probably could have got out at 45, right. If oh. I would have really hit it hard and done a more aggressive fire, okay. but we didn't, we went to Europe on vacation. We went to Hawaii, you know, we took big vacations every year. I had frequent flyer miles. We saved aggressively maybe 20, 25%, but we didn't do 50%. You yeah. know, we had, you know, newish cars. We had a probably, you know, nicer home than we had to have. Um, so we always tried to find that balance. I knew we were saving pretty aggressively and you set everything up, you automate everything, you start learning about this stuff. That's not the hard part. The hardest part is the patience to give it time. Yes. So you true. know, that, that compounding takes time. So you set all the metrics up, you do your net worth statement every year, you try to increase your savings every time you get a raise. You know, we, we all know the gig, right? It's not that hard. The hard part is the patience to, yes. to wait it through. Yeah. So that's where I was in my career. I, I enjoyed it. Fortunately, I didn't sit there and get obsessed about trying to get out when I was, you know, 10 years out. Yeah. I, I, I really, I knew I was probably doing pretty well, but I didn't really run the numbers. Maybe you know, 10 years out, I might've looked at a retirement calculator or something. So, oh, you know, maybe I'll get there someday, but I wasn't, I wasn't obsessed about it at all Interesting. until I was probably five years, six years out. Mm. And I started seeing some of my coworkers who were youngish, you know, let's say in their fifties that were starting to leave. And I'm like, man, you know, and, and the interesting thing is the more you start thinking about wanting to leave, the more you get that, yes. I got to get out of here. Yes. They, they, yeah. They're, yes. They're, yeah. They feed on each other. So be <laughs> careful about getting too excited about wanting to leave because that patience thing comes yes. back in. And I was fortunate to have a pretty decent balance of them and not really get the urge to fire until I was maybe late forties. Okay. Um, fortunately, I had done all the right things, you know, yes. started saving a 401k at age 22. And, uh, you know, I just had the the time of compounding on my side yeah. and I had done it right, but it wasn't necessarily a, a lifelong desire to oh. fire. It just was fortunate that it happened. Interesting. Yeah. Now Fritz, I'm glad that, that you covered some of those areas you did because you know, one of the things that Eric and I have realized that as our channel has grown, um, our sort of average age, at least as far as we get from YouTube of our viewers has gone down. And certainly the fire community is very highly represented by people in their 20s and 30s. And that, yeah. that's cool. I'm, I'm so impressed by the rigor that some of yeah. them put into their planning. And it's, it's brilliant. But I also love reminding people this is a diverse community, right? And retiring at 55 means you're still retiring 10 to 15 years yeah. earlier than the typical experience in the U.S. And I think if I'm remembering right, you even called that uh, late fire at some yeah. point in your <laughs> earlier blogs, right? Yeah. 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 I, you know, you got lean fire, fat fire, early fire, late fire, you know, but yeah, it, it, I, I didn't come up with the term, but yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, it is, I, I guess what I would say to the, to the really early fire, hyper aggressive people, Hey, knock yourself out. That's great. You're saving aggressively, but don't lose focus on living your life as you live it. Because you got, even if you're hyper aggressive, you got 10 or 15 years, right? And you don't want to live 10 or 15 years like Eric's living right now in his final two years where you just want to get out. That's a, that's a miserable way to live 15 years of your life. So find yeah. a way to maybe I'll, maybe I'll scale back and say, I'm going to get out at 45 instead of 40. And we're going to go ahead and take a nice vacation this year. 
yeah. do it. You yeah. know, yeah. find the balance mm-hmm. because retirement's great, but it's not worth giving up 15 years of your life of, of stuff that you are going to look back and say, oh, I wish I would have done something with my kids. They're gone, you know, and you'll never get that back. So find the balance. Kudos for being, you know, aggressive and doing well on your savings and everything else. But really question yourself, what's the appropriate balance? Because realistically, after you retire, to Eric's earlier question, what do I consider work? You're, get, you're probably still going to be working. A lot of people go back to work. A lot of people like me, I, I do what I, I consider work, but I don't get paid for any of it. I just do right. it because now I enjoy it. That's an enviable place to be. But an awful lot of people go back to work, even though they might not need the money because they're fired. But for exactly the points we were talking about with Jason right. about missing all these other things, yeah. I guarantee you 95% of those hyper aggressive early fire people, they haven't even thought about that stuff yet. Yeah. And, and when that stuff hits and you retire at 35 and, hey, gold star, I'm great, and then that stuff hits you in the face and you hadn't planned for it. It might not be as great as you thought it was going to be, you know, when you get there. So yeah, find some balance. Life's all about balance. Do you it do is. you feel like you? I, I mean, that's great advice, Fritz. Um, I, I love hearing it from you as someone who's experienced both sides of Phi. And I wonder if you consider yourself maybe not to be retired, but do you have like a sec? Is this a second career to you? Like because no, I mean, I'm, you're I'm you're writing I'm books and I'm I'm a hundred percent retired. Okay, and I, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> because nothing that I choose to do is influenced in the least by the financial consequences. In the least. That's interesting. I don't I, think everybody's I like think, that. I, 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 I tell you, it's something that happened to me. We talk about people going back to work, right? Right when about a week before I was going to retire, I get a call from a guy I knew. He's president of a company, and we'd been friends for a long time. And I thought oh, he's calling to wish me happy retirement and all that and so we're talking and sure enough he did that you know and and then, and then he said well actually i did have a reason for going i was like oh man i said the guy's gonna <laughs> ask you know the guy's gonna want me to come and do some consulting for him and i had locked into my head i'm not gonna retire and then go do consulting because i might as well just keep working and make big money and not you know not do this little piddly consulting stuff and spend 30 hours a week kind of working right no but he came up with an interesting proposition he said hey we just restructured we got this new ownership structure and and one of the big owners are they're putting a new board together and he asked me if there's a a new retiree that kind of knows this business they'd like to get somebody that has the industry experience on the board Hmm, board of directors right and so and i had sworn to myself i was not going to work and this is in my what i didn't expect about retirement this is one of my it is i know yeah And, and i had no intention of working but being on a board and the reason I accepted it, I talked to my wife, we talked about it a lot, and uh, and and it was, I didn't even know what the financial implications were going to be. I mean, I, I accepted the position ultimately without even knowing what the pay was going to be. It, it didn't matter. That's why I say I'm retired. Okay. Right. The decisions yeah. I make aren't driven by the financial implications. Yeah. The spending decisions are, but but in terms of what I choose to do with my time. Yeah. And, and the reason I chose the board is because to me, to Jason's earlier point, how do you keep getting a little bit of that sense of fulfillment? Hey, I'm yeah. kind of an expert in my field. Yeah. When you retire, that's gone. This was a way for me to get a little bit of, hey, I'll be the I'll be the industry expert on this board of financial people, and I can kind of be this voice that, you know, 33 years in the business, and, and it's, it's a blast, you know, minimal yeah. obligation. I was very clear in my discussions with the chairman, how much time are we talking about, and – you know, if, if push comes to shove and I've got an obligation, I'm out. You know, I got to go do something else. He goes, right. yep, no, 100%. We want you. So I was very intentional on my decision, but it was not driven by the financial. It was driven by the by the other things yeah. that I would get from that opportunity that weren't fun. So to answer your question, I consider myself retired because – my decisions on what I do are not driven by financial implications. And that to me is yes. the definition of retired. That's amazing. That, that's great. 